Humans have been using math for as long as we can remember. Although mathematics has come such a long way throughout the years, there is still a simple equation that mathematicians haven't yet solved. This equation is known as the Kolod's conjecture. Professors from all around the world advise their students not to waste their time on this conjecture as some of the best mathematicians haven't been able to answer it themselves. Paul Erdős, a Hungarian mathematician, even said himself that mathematics is not yet ripe enough for such questions. The Kolod's conjecture goes like this. If the number you have is even, add 2. If the number you have is odd, multiply by 3, then add 1. The strange part is when you get down to the number 1. Since 1 is an odd number, we multiply by 3 and add 1, which gets us 4. 4 is an even number, so we divide by 2 and we get 2. Then we divide by 2 again, and we're back down to 1. If you apply these two rules to any positive number, you'll eventually end up in the 4 to 1 loop. So far, mathematicians have tested all positive numbers up to 2 to the 68th power, and none of them prove the conjecture wrong. That's 295 quintillion, 147 quadrillion, 905 trillion, 179 billion, 352 million, 825,856 numbers tested. Mathematicians know for sure that all of those numbers go back down to the 4 to 1 loop. If there is a counterexample to this theory, it's almost impossible that someone will find it. The numbers will just get too big for a human to search them tirelessly. The best way to check numbers, such as 2 to the 1000th power, would be by using some sort of intelligent technology and not by just checking every single number. Still, there is another choice, and that is that we'll never know if there is a solution to the Kolitz conjecture, and that trying to solve the problem is futile.